Acute myeloid leukemia will start by granulopoiesis. Granulopoiesis start from stem cell and then immature myeloid. This immature myeloid start by myeloplast in promyelocyte, myelocyte, metamyelocytes, bent, and finally, after the pan will go to neutrophil segment, mature white blood cell, mature granulocytes. We can see there is a difference in the nucleus and cytoplasm between all of these cells. So maturation is accompanied by differences in the nucleus and the difference in the cytoplasm. If we compare the nucleus in one, two, three, four, five, six. We can see nuclear change. Nuclear change. If you compare the cytoplasm, one, two, three, four, five, six, we can see cytoplasmic. changes. This is what's called granulopoiesis. Acute myeloid leukemia, acute myeloplastic leukemia is a disease characterized by it's more common in adult more than 15 years. 80% of acute leukemia in adult is AML. In 1970s, starting the FAP classification of acute myeloleukemia, they classified the acute myeloleukemia into eight subclasses, starting from M0, ending by M7. M0 it is undifferentiated myeloplastic leukemia. M1, myeloplast without maturation. No granules, no our roots. M2 with maturation, myeloblast with maturation. We can see our roots. This is our roots. We can see granules. So this is M2. M3, we have classical promyelocytic leukemia characterized by heavy granulation, hypergranular. You can see here cytoplasm is hypergranular with many our roots, our roots, many our roots. When there are many our roots, there is a collection or bundle of the our roots, what's called fagot. This is fagot. It is clear. So this is myeloplast with one or two our roots. This is broad myelocytes with a heavy granulation and with a collection of the our roots, what's called fagot. We have another type called M3 variant. Variant. It's micro granular. So the granules are few. Hypo granular. There is few granules in the cytoplasm. Also, we have a characteristic feature is a dumbbell, dumbbell pill nucleus. It is clear. Dumbbell pale. It's like the dumbbell. Dumbbell pale nucleus. And for myelomonoplastic leukemia, ML, granulocytic and monocytic, we have myeloplasts with our roots and we have monoplasts. M5 
monoplastic leukemia in 5A, monoplastic mini monoplasts. with few monocytes. So many monoplast and few monocytes. M5P monocytic leukemia with many monocytes with few monoplasts. Monocytes with few monoplasts. M6 or erythroleukemia, more than 50% of the nucleated monocytes are erythroid, maybe multinucleated, multi nucleated, erythroid. With myeloplasts, we have also myeloplasts in the M6. But most of the cells are erythroblasts. M7 mega karyoplast, mega karyoplastic. It's large and small mega karyoplast characterized by high nuclear cytoplasm ratio. Nucleus large, cytoplasm fused, cytoplasm, cytoplasm granular, no granules in the cytoplasm. Uh, cytoplasm characterized markedly by immunological marker. It's called CD41. A immunophenotyping is essential with electron microscope to diagnose this type of the leukemia, acute myeloid leukemia. So AML fab subtypes, as we mentioned, M0, M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, M7, 